What's up everybody? So uh, with this series of driving a manual transmission car here at Stokes Volkswagen, we got Brandon here with us. What's up, bud? Hey, how's it going? Good, man. So uh, you drive a manual car, is that right? That's correct. What kind of car do you drive? Well, I have a Challenger, a Dodge Challenger. Okay. Now, Brandon, tell everybody some of the reasoning on why you picked a manual transmission Dodge Challenger over an automatic. Well, I mean, it, it's the it's the thrill of the drive. I mean, anybody can drive an automatic. It, it, it drives itself. You just hit the gas and it moves. But you know, when you when you get in that that I don't even want to say competitive, but when you get free spirit and you feel like actually driving, um, the ability to shift the gears and hold gears where you want them for as long as you want that that's really where the excitement is to me. Um, now, Brandon, when uh, when did you learn how to drive a stick shift car? Oh, it was, it was one of my second. It was my second car, yeah. Second car when you were probably 17, 18 years old, something like Correct. that. And what kind of car was that back in the day? That was a 91 Chevy S10 Blazer. <laughs> S10 Blazer. Those are cool. <laughs> they were. I remember those. Was it hard learning how to drive a stick? At, at first it was. I didn't have any choice. I mean, I only had so much money to work with, and, and literally that's how I learned how to drive a stick, because I just I bought one. You bought and, one. And I just had to learn on that. That was, that was my, my car, so I had, to, I had to figure it out. Hi everybody, we're here in service at Volkswagen. We got Sean right here with us, and we got Mr. Warren right here with us. Now, Warren is Generation X. Is that right? Yeah. And I'm a millennial. Are you a millennial? I believe so. Okay, so we're millennials. He's Generation X. Um, quickly before we get to Sean, Warren, did did your generation of people pretty much learn to drive stick about everybody who knows how to drive a stick shift? Everybody knows how to drive a stick shift. Was that because more cars on the road back then were sticks? Yes. So you could still drive a stick today? On the column. On the column. On the column too. Now, now, think think about right now. What would be a benefit of driving a stick shift car? Probably gas mileage. Gas mileage would be about the only thing. Okay, so gas mileage. But but a lot of people don't know how to drive, so a standard shift around here is not real well. Because they don't know how to drive them. Well, they know how to drive them, but you're going too fast for second or too slow for third. And you okay. Get hung up and you. It right. could cause an accident. Yeah. Right. Okay, now let's switch over to Sean. Yeah. Sean, you drive a stick shift car. Yep. The car in the parking lot today, manual transmission. Yep, both of my cars are actually a manual transmission. One my wife drives and mine. So the wife knows how to drive stick, yep. you know how to drive stick, and will you make it part of your family tradition to teach kids to drive a stick? I think everybody should at least know how to drive a stick just in the event that an emergency happens and the only car available may have to be. Mm -hmm. so, um, I also think I would prefer kids when they're first learning how to drive learn how to drive on a stick because I think it teaches you better control of the car you listen to more things you listen to you know a clutch slipping or engaging you li mm -hmm. listen to the RPMs of the engine you get more in tune with the car which theoretically should help them later on you know preventing damage to, from happening and things like that but it just mm -hmm. it lets you feel more in control of the car and I think it teaches you to pay more attention to the car, which right. will in turn hopefully make it a safer experience for everybody. Could you? Do you think a stick shift would stop kids from texting as much? Maybe. Probably. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's it's definitely. I've I've texted while driving before. I don't do it very often, but I've done it before, <laughs> and uh, it's not exactly easy when you have a manual transmission. Now, when you have an automatic, it doesn't matter because you can sit there and just go to town. Right. And the car does most of the work for you. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, benefits to it are they're usually cheaper, mm -hmm. maintenance is less, fuel economy is better, uh, you generally get a better overall driving experience because you're more mm -hmm. involved in the car, um, you know, so I mean, and, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and reliability, usually there's less stuff to break on it unless you're damaging the clutch by driving it. Right. Um, advantages to an automatic, mm -hmm. you know, they're easier to drive, it takes less effort, less fatigue. You know, but then again, you also and have you the cost associated things like, and you can text while you're driving <laughs> <laughs> with an automatic. Right. An automatic. So I mean, there's there's pluses and minuses to each. And nowadays, um, automatics, are, some of them are getting so good that it's almost making manuals obsolete to a degree because mm -hmm. you have Six speed these dual clutch yeah. transmissions that shift faster in a straight line. You can put them in sport mode, and they have flappy paddle shifters. And right. Stuff like that so, um, but you're getting that manual feel while still not having to use a clutch and everything so I mean there's positive and negatives to both right I, I would like to teach my kids all how to drive just in the event that that is the only car available well guess what then you got to make it work you know that's and right I think that teaching somebody to drive on a manual is beneficial in the long run to how they will develop as a driver mm -hmm. do you think if the dealership here offered a class on how to drive stick you think people would take advantage of that I mean, if we if we put it out there enough, I don't see why they wouldn't. I mean, there might be that 
fear factor. Honestly, the hardest part about driving a manual transmission is, well, there's two things. One, it's understanding what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And two, it's getting over the fear of breaking something or the fear of not knowing. As soon as you understand what everything does, you know, what it means when you push the clutch in, what it does, and then you get over the fear of, oh my gosh, I'm going to do it wrong, you'll do just fine. Mm -hmm. So actually, I taught my wife how to drive stick. First time she got in it, she was somewhat decent, and then progressively, every time after, she got worse and worse and worse and worse. <laughs> yeah, she was thinking it about it too much, and she was, you know, concerned that she was going to do something wrong, and she was concerned about breaking something. And at the time, I was rebuilding one of our cars, one of my fun cars, and I actually went down to the garage and I grabbed the transmission and I carried it up into the kitchen. I sat uh-huh. it down and I went down and I grabbed a pedal assembly out of a car and I sat it down and I grabbed a clutch and I sat it down in the kitchen and I sat uh-huh. her down and I said, "This is a clutch." This is the pedal you push. This is what it moves. This is how it works. And this is what it does for the transmission. Mm. And I don't know if it was luck or if she actually grasped the concept because the next time we went out and drove, she drove just fine and never looked back. Wow. That's kind of so neat. It was a cool that's experience. Yeah. That's, how, that's how she learned, you know. And she actually prefers manual now unless we're on, like, a long road trip and we're going to be in stop and go traffic right. and stuff like that. Then it's kind of nice to have an automatic. But, um, yeah, I think there's definitely benefits to both sides. Um, I would have no issue owning either, but I would always want at least my kids and myself to know how to drive a stick. How to drive a stick. Awesome. Thank you for your feedback, man. Yep, no problem. Awesome. Any more words of advice, Warren? No, sir. Why don't I always say that? <laughs> no, sir. He's, he's quite set at all. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, Warren, I tell you, that old fella, he is a really funny guy. He's He's got a personality and definitely uh, one to be on camera more often i think i'll do that but anyways um let me know if you enjoyed the video today about uh driving a stick shift i do have more video footage from this day talking with technicians in the shop we went out on a test drive in a car and just all kinds of great stuff about why to drive a stick shift versus an automatic and uh, again these are just people's opinions so do take that in consideration you may drive an automatic yourself and don't even know how to drive a stick and there's a lot of y'all people just like that out there okay it's no big deal maybe nobody uh, took the time to teach you how to drive a stick shift car and that's kind of where i'm going to be leading to in uh, in the fall here is possibly doing a day at the dealership where people come with their dad and their mom or you know their kids and they bring them and they teach them how to drive a stick shift car right there at the dealership or uh, somewhere in a parking lot nearby so anyways or out of school so thanks for watching let me know if you enjoyed the video hit the like button comment subscribe and um yeah thank you so much and again a big shout out to stokes v-dub